Hi, this is Don Clark with FileMakerProGurus.com. I just wanted to do a follow-up uh, to a blog post I had last week about connecting Zoom to FileMaker. This is a sample of, of uh, well, how far I was able to, to come along this path. And what I'm going to do here is use this button up here um, next to the phone call outbound, a little handset, to place a phone call using Zoom. And uh, it's going to give me a call list, a list of calls from Jason for this user and from uh, Zoom. And then down here, it's gonna, we're going to parse that out to get us the download link. And then we're going to be able to hit, click this download button here next to here. And it's going to allow us to uh, listen to the call in a popover. And the way we did that was to um, download the file uh, using uh, a web viewer. And it automatically starts up when we do that. So it's kind of a nice little feature that I wasn't expecting to be able to get. So I'm going to be calling my phone, which probably shows up up in this screen. So let's see what happens. I'm going to answer my own phone, and I'm going to hang up after a few seconds. So let's just go ahead and push that button. Zoom's going to open. It's going to sign in automatically. Zoom places the phone call, and in this instance, it's calling my phone. Uh, so it's going to pop back and show the incoming phone call, which isn't normal in this procedure. It's just here for illustration purposes. And then we use four fingers to zoom back over or to slide back over to FileMaker. Hang it up. You see here we have uh, the, the JSON object from there. It was already made uh, that quickly as soon as you make a phone call. And here's the link to the download. And if I click this button here, next to that link, it's going to open this up, download the file, and it's going to start this call. So you can see that's pretty slick, because um, what our goal here was is to allow a supervisor to listen to a call after it had been done. So you can come to this task, and, and actually it's probably going to be located a little differently in here. I was just doing this for demonstration purposes or actually to work out the, the code and everything, um, is that, you know, it's probably going to be on a list for a supervisor who's going to have this uh, little handset next to it, and they're going to be able to pick one and just pop it open and listen to it real quick and see, you know, what's going on uh, when a person makes a phone call to, to uh, get more information or to confirm or do whatever. Whenever they're interacting with a customer, just pick one at random or one when there's been a complaint and say, okay, what, what transpired here? Um, how can we improve the services? Uh, so that this person knows better how to handle, for example, a customer complaint or, um, you know, that they know the best techniques to get the information they need to get from the customer. Thanks very much. This is probably, the, this will be the final addendum to that uh, blog post about connecting Zoom to FileMaker using the API. I'll see you next time.